hello awesome people you're welcome to another another beautiful um day yes it's another day i'm so excited today because it's monday and it's a wonderful 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 day that the lord has made that we should rejoice and be glad in it hallelujah amen okay today's topic is becoming great becoming great the key test is taken from genesis 26 verse 13 and it says and the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great okay background and thoughts on the text greatness in life is not by luck it is a deliberate journey for a child of god greatness is not just physical it's not just physical every great destiny is built on natural efforts and supernatural sponsorship the lord will sponsor you amen men don't rise because they are strong but because they are sponsored the reason people get discouraged and more christianity after hanging around the church is that they choose the periphery and refuse to go deeper into god thinking spirituality can be attained by secular knowledge so there is always a place for us and there's a place for god god has a part to play and we have a part to play on the journey of greatness May the Lord give you the capacity to journey in Jesus' name. Amen. In the Old Testament, people understood the role of divine backing in their aspiration for greatness. Hence, they went on to have prophets and priests over them. In 2 Chronicles 20, verse 20, the people of God were admonished to believe the Lord and his prophets it was in believing his prophet that they prospered wow it was believing in their pro prophet that they prospered in the new testament there is a place for believing the prophets and priests however it is an age where the veil of the temple has been torn and everyone has direct access to the holy spirit everyone has direct access to the holy place rather it is an era of a personal walk with god so it is it is a personal journey it is something that you need to by yourself on your own is ah uh, I, I, how do i explain this but you need to understand that it's something that you and God need to sort out. You need to communicate with God. You need to you need to ask God, how do I go about this? What do I do about this in order to get this expected results? Okay, application. You can become great too when you go deeper into God through these six ways. Number one is visitation visitation then altars blessing purpose covenant and power visitation is when god reveals himself to you that's visitation anyone with a revelation of the power uh, of the person and power of god can never be small if you have the revelation of of the power and person of God you can't be small no matter how your condition is now no matter how the situation is if you can have a personal revelation of God you can't be small because God will direct you per time raising an altar is your next bold step raising an altar in gateway um, um, what we do is that we, we get into um, we get into um, the first fruit okay first fruit it's 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 a big thing and it's a way of creating an access is is part of raising an altar 
Okay. There is no altar greater than the altar of Calvary, where Jesus gave his life as a sacrifice for us. In summary, greatness is sponsored by your commitment to principles that make men grow and God's investment in our lives. As you apply them, become great in Jesus name. Amen. Okay, I want you, I want you to pray with me. Just lift up your right hand and say, Father, by your help, I become very great in Jesus' name. Amen. Action point. What can you do to launch into a new season of greatness? Do it. Whatever you can do, do it. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much for connecting. Thank you for watching. Please do it to keep connecting via Life Center Network. My name is Glory Chiku and bye for now.